Good morning and welcome to 845 Yoga. Let's get started. Just have a nice comfy seat. And I just want to start by saying thank you for letting me go visit my amazing daughter and grandkids and taking me in lieu of live via YouTube. Um, I'm going to visit my amazing daughter and my amazing grandkids. And of course, my amazing son will be with us in spirit <sighs> as he's with me, us in spirit always. So comfy seat. Let's take our hands on our knees or comfortable in your lap. We're just going to ground down here and get started. Uh, let's lift the shoulders up back and down so that we really open up the chest, grounding down with both sit bones and then lifting up through the crown of your head. Oh, and let's just take some deep breaths. Maybe flutter your eyes closed and just feel your body breathing. Let's start there. Every time you inhale, you feel the rise of your, your shoulders and then the exhale, you feel them come back down a little bit. And every inhale, you feel your rib cage expanding. And every exhale, you feel your ribs knitting together, using those muscles to blow the air out. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. And exhale. Again, deep breath in. And exhale. And flutter your eyes open. And let's place our hands on our knees and let's just get a little movement happening in our bodies by taking our bodies around the base. So we're just moving our upper body around the base of our lower body. Taking some circles here, hands on the knees, and as you get a little more bold, you can go a little bigger, kind of supersize it, and maybe even kind of leaning back. Let your knees kind of go with you a little bit. You might even fall back there and that's okay. That's not very far to fall. And then let's reverse and go the opposite direction. Just taking some circles to Warm up those hips, those obliques, those abdominals, core muscles. And then let's settle in right in the center. If your legs are crossed, maybe put the other side in front for a change. Just wherever you do, just be comfortable. And let's take our arms up, reach both hands up. And then exhale, hands right to heart center. And bring your sternum right up to your thumbs. Widen your collarbones. And let's do that again. Deep breath in, reach up. And exhale, hands right into your heart. See if your sternum stayed up there, or if you have to bring it back up again, that's okay. We're, we're creating some new muscle memory, nice posture. All right, this time reach up, arms up, and we're gonna exhale and twist around to the right. So your left arm will be around the right knee and the right hand will be behind you to sit up tall. Use your back hand, maybe tent your fingers. If you can palm the floor, that's fine, but maybe tent your fingers on the ground behind you. And then your left arm is around your right knee and you're just using that to give yourself a nice little twist. Shoulders down, open the collarbones. And if it's stressful, we, ch we tend to hold our breath. Try not to, just back off of it if you need to. Just do a baby, baby twist if that's better for you today. But focus on your breath. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, go a little deeper, deep breath in, and then exhale. Next inhale, lift those arms up, deep breath. And then exhale now, twist around to your left. Right arm on the outside of the left knee, left hand behind. And again, just making any micro adjustments, organic adjustments, whatever feels right for you today. It's a little different on every one of us and it's different every day. Quite frankly, it's different every hour. I sit up tall, deep breath in. And then exhale and twist a little deeper if you can. Even taking your chin around a little further if you can. And again, try to keep your shoulders down and collarbones wide. Really breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Next inhale, lift those arms up. Center yourself. 
Excellent. And hands come all the way down to the back behind you. Clasp your fingers, or I should say interlace your fingers behind you. And we're just going to try to pull down, opening up through the chest, through the front. And first thing in the morning, we don't try to force it, right? We're just kind of, well, we never try to force it, but we do try to go a little more deep into it and challenge ourselves deeper as the day goes on or as the class goes on. So shoulders are down, a slight bend in your elbows and see if you can pick your fists up, but keep pulling down on your shoulders, really opening through the chest. And you've got some energy flowing through your arms and release that and just kind of shake that out. Let's extend the legs along and let's just kind of move a little bit, just kind of picking up those knees, putting them back down. If sitting up like this is uncomfortable and you find yourself way back here, if you just fold a blanket a few times and put it under your tailbone, it's a game changer. It really helps you to sit up nice and tall until you create that muscle memory and tightness through the abdominals. Okay, so let's let's bring the feet in a little closer. Bend the knees up and grab behind your thighs above your knees. Draw the draw your shoulders down and just bring yourself up to a seated position and then round back and you're, you'll tuck your chin. So we're going deep breath in, pull your heart through the gate of the shoulders and then exhale, straighten the arms, tuck the chin back. Inhale, lift and pull, maybe even lift your chin if that feels right. Exhale back, two more deep breath in, lift. Exhale back and one more time, deep breath in and then exhale back. Fabulous. Okay. With your feet here, um, bring in one leg. Let's bring in your left knee and extend your right leg and see if you can sit up tall. Now, if that's not happening today, just leave it wherever you need to. Wherever your leg is, see if you can try to hug the leg close. Maybe you're just grabbing with your hands. Maybe you can wrap your elbow around. Maybe you can wrap both elbows around and kind of it coax yourself taller, not forcing, but coaxing yourself taller. Let's be active on our bottom leg and point the toes. And then let's keep the, keep the foot pointed, but pull your toes back like you're wearing a high heel. Flointing, we call it. <laughs> and release. And let's switch to the other side. Pull that leg in just as far as you feel like you can. Extend the other leg long. Wrap the right elbow around, sit up tall, as tall as you can. This is tough, I know, especially in the morning. Lifting up tall, maybe wrapping that other arm around, really coaxing yourself taller. Active front foot, left foot pointing, and then pull the toes back if you can. Stay tall, deep breath in. Mm, and exhale. Okay, extend the other leg down, flex and point. And then let's rotate through those ankles. Again, pulling the crown up as tall as you can. And if you are sitting on a blanket, that's great. Just whatever you have to do to be comfortable and to challenge yourself. All right, let's flip over onto hands and knees and we'll start with some cat cows in tabletop. So our hands are right below the sh uh, shoulders and knees below the hips, elbows have a slight bend, tops of the feet are firmly pressing into the ground. Tone your abdominals, kind of puff up between your shoulder blades just a little bit so you're really pulling through your core muscles and take a deep breath in and as you do, you'll drop your belly, lift your chin and lift your tailbone and that's your cow and then as you exhale, you'll push into the ground with your knees and your palms, push the rib cage open, tuck your chin and tuck your tailbone deep breath in let's go the other way lift the chin lift the tailbone drop the belly exhale lift the belly lift the back tuck the chin tuck the tailbone two more deep breath kind of exaggerate i like to say color outside the lines just a little bit on these and under so that you are kind of finding some organic movement last cow inhale lift the chin and tailbone and exhale last cat tuck the tailbone tuck the chin and then bring yourself into neutral 
And let's take the left leg, extend it all the way long. So you've got your left leg on the ground, left heel pushing, and you are really stretching through your calf muscle on that left side. And just plug in your shoulders, hold your navel tight, hold that there, and then lift that left foot off the ground. And if you can, now keep it down if you can't, see if you can lift. And then start to think about lifting your right hand. You want to make sure all of your weight is in your left palm and your right knee, and then lift your right arm out. And if this is available to you, we're just going to do three crunches. So we'll take a deep breath in first, and then we'll exhale under, tuck, and then inhale, reach long, really reach. Exhale under as you bring your knee to your elbow. Inhale, reach your fingers and toes long. And exhale under, elbow to knee. And reach long one more time. And then set the knee and the palm back down. And let's extend now the right leg. Keep the ball of the foot on the ground. Push into your heel. Find that gentle stretch. Plug in your elbows, uh, sorry, your shoulders and keep your elbows soft. Lift that right heel if you can, and then start to think about balancing between your right palm and your left knee. And if you can, reach your left arm out. And this is called bird dog here. This is an incredible back strengthening exercise. So we'll do our crunches now. Take a deep breath in and tuck under. Bring left elbow to right knee. Exhale. Inhale, reach the right arm and left arm away from one another. Long, long, long. Exhale under, elbow to knee. Inhale, long, long, long. And last time, exhale under. And inhale. And then set. Now, I'm going to face away from you to show you the next posture. Uh, just because it's sometimes, especially teaching it um, on a video, it's just easier this way. Okay, so you're going to be on hands and knees. And you're going to extend your right leg behind you. And so you've got, just like we did a minute ago, we've got the right foot on the ground, right heel pushing back. And then what we're going to do is kickstand the left foot out, come onto the right instep. Your left hand is holding you up and you reach your right arm up and over your head. And just hold that gate pose, deep breath in. And exhale, deep breath in. And as you exhale, center yourself, swing yourself back to hands and knees and we'll get the other side. Extend now your left foot behind you and swing out your right foot as you come onto the left instep and lift your left arm up. Your right arm is supporting you, keep that right elbow slightly bent and then left arm comes up and then over your head towards the front or whichever way you're facing reach 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 and then bring yourself back to hands and knees hopefully that hopefully that worked <laughs> okay so let's flip under your right palm your right wrist I should say so you've got the back of your hand on the floor and you're stretching that right wrist and let's get the other side underneath and stretch excellent and we're getting ready for down facing dog so down facing dog plug your shoulders in elbows have a slight bend tuck your toes uh, those of you that have been to my class you know it so uh, let's go for it if you haven't if you're watching this for the first time you might want to watch the down facing dog first so you push into your legs on the inhale and then on the exhale you push back and let's just walk this first down facing dog and I the the biggest mistake I see with down dogs is people stay out here and they have their head up we we want to really push back into this and have your head heavy head low neck relaxing I can't stress that enough just let your head down let's enjoy these wonderful um, benefits of yoga and this upside down any inverted move helps to calm your nervous system let's hold the right heel down and the left heel is up as you are 
stretching your right calf muscle. Palms are strong into the ground. Let's switch and place the left heel on the ground. Lift the right heel up. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Now, both heels off the ground. Your knees are still bent and just take a peek between your thumbs and you're going to tippy toe all the way up until you're standing between your hands and you're in a forward fold at the top of your mat. And again, let your head relax. Let your head be heavy. Maybe if you're comfortable here. Now, it, um, I forgot to say you might need to support above your knees if that forward fold is too intense. If you're okay with your forward fold, grab opposite elbows and pendulum or swing. Some people call this ragdoll. Just let yourself loose. If And, you know, a ragdoll, there's just, there's no uh, resistance, right? You're just letting yourself go. So be, be comfortable in however you approach every posture. Everything is just a suggestion, an invitation. And hold yourself in the center. Getting ready to root down to rise up. So bend your knees as you bring yourself up slowly. Bring your arms all the way up. Hands come right into heart center. And hold. Now we were down for a little bit. So uh, just kind of collect yourself for a moment. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> nice deep breaths in and out. So we're in Tadasana. Feet are about hip distance apart. We've got our shoulders down, collarbones wide. Again, your heart is coming up to your thumbs. And from here, we're going to go into some mini sun salutations. Uh, stay at the top of your mat. I'm just going to move back on my mat to demonstrate because the wall is kind of close and then I'll knock into it. So take a deep breath and reach all the way up above your head. And then just exhale and bring the arms back to heart center. And then if you want to add a baby back bend to open the front and work the back, we go inhale up and baby back bend and exhale, hands back into heart center and hold. So that's called Ardha Hastasana, baby back bend, baby back. Inhale, let's do that again. Deep breath in, baby back bend. And bring it back. Hands right into heart center. So now we'll add on a little bit to that. And we will go into a forward fold after that. So deep breath in, reach up. Baby back bend. And exhale forward fold. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths. Deep breath in. Knees are bending as much as you need them to. And exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Next inhale, root down to rise all the way up to the top and exhale down, tightening up your rear end, widening the collarbones. This time we will add a half lift when we're uh, down on the ground. Deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. And as you're ready, on the inhale, half lift. And let's just stay here for a few breaths. So half lift can be a um, shin or thigh, or it can be tenting the fingers or palming the floor. It depends on where you are at. Some of us have long torsos. Some of us have long legs. Some of us have long arms. Keep breathing so it's different for everyone. This is a big hamstring stretch. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up to the top. Hands come together at the heart. Catch your breath if you need to. And we'll go again. Deep breath in, reach up. Baby back bend. Squeeze your backside as you do. And forward fold. Inhale, half lift. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back right foot, set right knee, untuck right toes. And this is your little lunge here. Now, it might be really uncomfortable if it is uh, blocks or books stacked, if you don't have blocks. 
And right here, we're just holding into it. Pull your shoulders down. And all we are going to do from here is set the left knee on the ground. And we're going to, going to get the right side now. And from here, it might help to just grab behind the leg and go boop, boop, boop all the way to the top. And now we're in our right lunge. So again, we're just kind of waking up some muscles, some fascia, some tendons and ligaments. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, set both knees and hands right below the shoulders. We're getting ready to do a chaturanga. So we're going to go knees, chest, chin chaturanga. So the way we do it, you might want to watch first, is we shift our weight forward a little bit. And then the elbows go behind us. And we do chest, chin all the way down to the ground. So if you didn't do it or if you want to do it again, um, let's practice. So we are shifting forward slightly and then we lower down, elbows go behind or to the back, chest, chin, and then we slither down to the ground and then let's use our hands to the sides of those shoulders, plug in your elbows and then just drop your forehead on the ground for a moment and breathe getting you ready to use the back muscles. So we're going to inhale and lift and peel off the floor, the chin and the chest, and then exhale down. So we're just using the back muscles first. Inhale, lift, peel off the ground, using your back muscles, pushing into your palms if you need to, and then exhale down. So as you execute this, you are breathing in, tucking, pushing the toes into the ground, pelvic bone into the ground. Exhale down. One more time. Deep breath in. Lift and push into the hands if you need to. And then exhale down. Excellent. Okay. Tuck your toes again. We're coming back up onto hands and knees and we're going into a child's pose. So take your knees wide, feet together, walk your hands out in front of you and see if you can bring yourself down and hold. And with this, we are also in a huge knee bend. And so it, what's meant to be relaxing for some could be really uncomfortable for others. So place a very thickly folded blanket uh, behind or however thick you need it to be behind your thighs if this is too much for your knees. And then you can really deepen your relaxation. And that's really why we're here. We're here to work and relax. And we want to make sure the relaxation is balanced with the work. Deep breath in and out. One more time. Deep breath. Exhale. And bring yourself back to all fours. And we're getting ready to go up and do some more sun salutations. So we're going to turn up the heat a little bit. Feel free to back off. You can always go to a safe pose to take a break. And safe pose may be down facing. I mean, well, for some people it's down dog and some people it's child's pose. Plug in your shoulders. Elbows are bent. Tuck, tuck the toes. <laughs> Deep breath in. Exhale, lift up into down facing dog. This time hold your dog. Hips up. Head down. Heels wherever they land. Knees are bent as much as they need to. You don't have to touch the ground with your heels. Remember, that's not part of this. What it is is just doing your best, pushing as hard as you can, feeling the benefits. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, look between your fingers, tippy toe, hop or jump until you get between those hands into your forward fold. Stay here for a breath if you jumped. Hopefully everyone's arrived. As we inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, root down to rise up, tightening your backside as you take that baby back bend and bring those hands right into heart center. <sighs> Deep breath in and out. Here we go. Inhale, reach. Baby back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale forward fold plant those hands step back left foot step back right foot now if you need to set your knees you can go right into tabletop but if you are able hold yourself in a plank a pike is okay too a pike is where your hips are up a little higher and that takes off some of the pressure from the pike otherwise hold your pike be as strong as you can secure your abdominals breathe inhale and exhale set your knees da down untuck your toes inhale exhale shift forward and go chin ch or chest chin sorry and then inhale baby cobra as high as you can go exhale all the way down tuck your toes lift yourself up to all fours or to plank and when you're ready down facing dog head is low neck is relaxing tone your abdominals tone your thighs take your thighs to the back wall without hyperextending your knees there's a challenge tick tip tip <laughs> your tailbone up to the sky feel how that feels and then tuck it the other way and see how that feels and then inhale as you exhale look between your thumbs and hop skip or jump you can hop a few times if that works and then maybe baby step There's so many different ways to get there forward fold breathe next inhale half lift exhale forward fold and inhale all the way up to the top tightening your backside and then exhale those hands right into heart center <laughs> taking a break one deep breath all right here we go deep breath in reach up the sky tighten the backside as you back bend forward fold as you exhale deep inhale half lift really straighten that back exhale forward fold plant those hands step back right foot left foot plank now you can go baby ch chaturanga with your knees to the ground so it would be knees chest chin or you can go full chaturanga shift the weight forward lower yourself down and untuck lifting yourself up into a baby cobra exhale down tuck those toes and take it to down facing dog you're really finding your way here noticing the nuances breathing all right take a deep breath in exhale as you look between and maybe bend and hop your way to the top jump to the top baby step to the top you're in a forward fold and then inhale half lift exhale forward fold inhale all the way up to the top exhale hands come into heart center and hold nice work okay we're going to go into some balancing postures now so for purposes of keeping it super simple today let's just go into a tree not that there's not that tree is simple but it's <laughs> easier to teach than some of the other balancing postures especially when I, I can't see you so we are going to I'm, I'm going to face the other way again we're going to stand on our right foot so right foot has all the weight shoulders down let's go hands on the hips lift up your left heel and be buoyant in your right heel test the waters a little bit uh, you might be on a different surface at home than you are at the Y. So just uh, kind of play with it a little bit. And then kickstand out your left knee. And keeping the right knee soft, start to draw the left foot up the calf, then above the knee to the inner thigh. If you can do that today, hold on if you need to. And then pushing the left foot into the right thigh right knee is bent you're looking slightly downward gaze at a non-moving object reach your arms out and up if you want a little challenge here growing your branches 
And then maybe bringing your hands over your head. And then maybe bringing them to heart center. Pushing your palms together. And then gently releasing that. How'd you do? <laughs> Let's get the other side. All right, so standing in Tadasana, buoyancy, lifting up right heel, left, left foot has a little bounce, right knee out. We're going to slowly bring that up into tree and hold, pushing your right heel into your left thigh and bringing your arms up. And to your heart. Hmm. And release. Okay, let's continue. So let's go into a really light, a really wide leg stance. Feet pretty far apart and knees are bent. Outside edges of your feet are parallel. And we're going to do a standing forward fold, wide-legged. So bending the knees and then hinging at the hips. And then as you get lower, remember to let your head be heavy. And if you can, allow your upper body to completely hang and breathe. And again, this is really, really good for your brain. This blood rushing to the brain. It's great for your neck, your cervical spine. And we've got some cervical decompression going on. And then if you're up for it, walk your hands over to your right foot and notice that big stretch through your left side. If you're able, see if you can lift your right arm up to the sky and pull your chest toward your right thigh. And then release that and walk your hands through the center over to your left foot. Bring your chest as close to your thigh as you can get it. Keep your knees soft and see if you can lift now your left hand up to the sky. Breathe. And then release that and bring yourself back into the center and just hang one more time. Let your head be heavy. Let your head be really heavy. Don't try to hold your head up. Just let it hang here. So good for you. Keeping your knees soft. And now begin to look up and support yourself if you need to. And you're going to slowly bring yourself back up to a standing position. And from here, let's heel toe the feet together. And then bring yourself back up to the top of your mat. And we're going to take ourselves back down again. So standing in Tadasana, let's take a deep breath in, reach up. And then hands to heart. And let's forward fold with our hands to the heart. And bring your hands down to the ground. Step back one foot then the other. Set your knees down. Untuck your toes. And from here, we're just going to wag our tail. Just wag your tail side to side. Kind of decreasing the distance between your left hip and your left rib cage, and then right hip and right rib cage, and then just go side to side. Kind of exaggerate that. And then as you're ready, let's take another child's pose. So we'll go knees wide, feet together. And this is extended like we did before with your arms out in front, setting that blanket behind your legs if you need to. The other option for child's pose is a more traditional um, child's pose is to keep your knees together and sit back on your feet and then bring your arms and wrap them around to your sides and set your forehead on the ground. So whatever option. And then some people like to make fists and pillow, uh, make a fist pillow and put their forehead on their fists. It's a little more comfortable. It's not. Just stay comfortable right where you are. And 
Let your body be heavy to the floor. Let your back rest. And then make your way back up onto your hands and knees and then all the way over to seated and start to make your way all the way down onto your back. And just kind of roll around a little bit, bring a little bit of a hug into your knees, tucking your chin. And then just allowing one foot to make contact to the ground and then the other. Knees straight up to the ceiling. Feet are right close to your rear end. And we're just going to take a couple of pelvic tilts. So we're just going to push the belly button down and take the arch out of the back. And then push your tailbone down. So just kind of rock back and forth on that tailbone, on that sacral area there. Back and forth, rocking, just really noticing the muscles working through the pelvic floor. And then start to think about creating your bridge by pushing into your heels and lifting your hips all the way up as high as you can comfortably. Flatten your neck by tucking your chin. Really engage the rear end. And if you want to take a bind underneath, you can interlace your fingers, kind of fold under your shoulders, and lift those hips. And then if you'd like to add a little more heat, you can drag your knees toward one another. They don't touch. They don't have to touch. They don't need to touch. It's just the action of dragging them towards one another. And then just gently let yourself back down to the ground. And extend one leg all the way down. Your right knee comes into your chest. Hug it in nice and tight. And opening up and stretching through the right glutes. And then your left leg is extended all the way down as you make your way with your right knee bent across the body to the left. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground. And see if you can reach your right arm straight out from your right shoulder. And your right knee is headed across the body towards the left. And see if you can relax that top leg as best you can. Keep breathing. And just open that side. A little spinal twist here. Just focusing on your breath. And see if you can also take your gaze towards your right hand so that you keep the spine in one big S curve. Got the left hand that can, if you want a little more heat, the left hand can sort of gently coax that right knee towards the ground. And then gently bring yourself back into the center. Draw both knees into the chest. Breathe. And then we'll extend that right leg down and pull the left knee into the chest. Taking a nice deep breath in as you Exhale, draw that left knee across the body over to the right. And then as soon as you feel like you are in your space, keeping those shoulders down, then extend the left arm straight out from the left shoulder. And maybe take a gaze over at your left hand, closing down your eyes, breathing possibly taking that right hand on the outside of that left knee, coaxing, never forcing, just trying to find a little bit of the edge of your stretch without hurting yourself. And then draw those knees back into the chest. And maybe even tucking your chin and bringing your head up and hugging those shins. And then we'll take a happy baby now. So knees are still bent above you and then you try to reach for your feet. If you can't reach your feet above you there, you just grab on the backs of your thighs and then you just start to play around and maybe kind of frolic around one knee bending in the other and kind of moving back and forth along the mat on your back a little bit. If that feels comfortable, if you prefer to just kind of hold your happy baby, that's fine too. We are going to end here with a um, stationary happy baby by 
settling back into the center and pulling down on both your feet. And then we'll make our way into butterfly, Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly. So bottoms of the feet together, knees are wide, and then let's gently bring those knees back together and set the feet on the ground. And then we'll take a reclined Baddha Konasana with feet, Baddha Konasana with feet on the ground now. So feet are in touch with the floor and then the knees widen and you've got this really delicious hip stretch here. If this bothers your back at all, please feel free to modify. Otherwise, draw the knees back in and we will take one leg down, then the other, and making our way into our Shavasana. And Shavasana is very individual, just like all yoga postures. Feel free to make it yours. You can lift your hands above your head in a cactus or you can take your arms to your sides whatever feels comfy for you the main thing here is you're just allowing your legs to fall open freely and if you want to draw the knees into the chest to relieve your back if that feels better than extended legs please feel free to do that as well so shavasana traditional shavasana can be hard on the back if if it bothers your back not to have that support, but otherwise your legs are extended, your arms are to your sides or above your head, or you've got your knees knocked together or into the chest if that feels better on your back. And we're going to go into now a uh, true Shavasana with focus on the breath. And we'll start heading into a meditation. So find your legs long your arms wherever they are. Feel the earth beneath you. Feel the air above your body. You've got contact with the floor. Just notice that. Where, where is your body touching the floor and what does it feel like? And then conversely, on the top, is the air blowing on you? Is it still? Is it warm? Is it cold? And if you are cold, maybe if you have a blanket close by, you can grab that and cover yourself up or put your sweatshirt on or your socks if you need to. Because this is our time to really benefit from this practice today. Allowing all of the beauty of yoga to work its magic and to breathe. Soften between your eyebrows. Mm, release your jaw. And now that you're in a really comfortable position, allow yourself to make any adjustments that you need to to be as comfortable as possible. Settling deeper into the support of the surface beneath you. Closing down the eyes if they're not already closed. And really bring your awareness into your body by taking a few deep breaths in your own time. Allowing yourself to settle further down into the core of your being. And starting to really connect with your most authentic self. And from this place of connection, imagine yourself in a safe place, a place where you're completely at ease, happy, and peaceful. Mm. Imagine yourself calm, connected to yourself, nurtured. And in this peaceful state, we'll start to meditate calmly as we build our self-confidence with some affirmations. Kindly repeating each one to yourself after I recite the affirmation. Say it to yourself and believe that it's true for yourself. I deserve to relax. 
I deserve to be happy. I appreciate myself as I am. I value myself as a human being. I am at peace with myself. I embrace all of my feelings and emotions, allowing each of these affirmations to really sink in, continuing to believe that all of these statements are true for you in this moment. I forgive myself and my mistakes. All people make mistakes. I know that I'm doing the best that I can. I am a good person. I forgive myself. And continuing to relax and believing these statements are true for you right now in this moment. We'll continue gently repeating. I feel good about myself. I accept myself as I am. I accept my flaws. I accept my strengths. I accept all of my imperfections. And I am good enough. I make time for myself. I will not feel guilty about prioritizing myself. Because I deserve to take this time for myself. I am perfectly all right just as I am. I feel confident. I feel secure. I feel at peace. I accept myself. I accept myself. Hmm. I accept myself. Hmm. All right. I'm going to be totally quiet. Just breathe, and I'll call you out in a minute. Take a deep breath in. Draw your knees into your chest. And slowly make your way back over to your side. And then gently up to a seated position. And bring those hands to your heart. Maybe close down your eyes, sitting up nice and tall. As you're breathing, feel your body soften. Thank you for joining today, bowing in reverie to you, honoring who you are, honoring that you showed up today, and just taking your yoga off your mat out into the world. And the more you accept yourself and love yourself, the more you accept others. Taking that beautiful state of mind out into the world. Taking a nice deep breath in. Raise your arms up. Exhale your hands right to your heart. Hmm. Thank you so much again for practicing today. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope that closing your eyes down, working your body, and then going deep inside like this 
It was a wonderful, wonderful start to the rest of your day or evening. Namaste. I hope you have a gorgeous rest of your day. Bye-bye. And thank you so much. Bowing in reverie to you.